Hello everyone, WarioDude128 here with a special video for everyone at Extra Credits. Recently, they talked about interactive movies and how Cloud Chamber has the right idea. Apparently, James has an idea for a horror game. If it sounds anything like what I'm about to propose, then I ask him to please steal my idea and show me how it turned out. What I'd like to do is create the first true cinematic video game, which is to say that the cutscenes, or lack thereof, are just as much part of the game as the gameplay. In fact, instead of cutscenes, there would only be a series of videos that you can pause, rewind, and fast forward. This is important, because in some or all of the videos, there would be something in it that has a clue or hint for some puzzle you need to solve. The catch is that when you first watch the video, you might not know what the clue is or what puzzle the hint is for. After thinking about it for a bit, I have an idea for how a horror game could work with that. Imagine that you are an unnamed forensic expert. You have been called on because in the past few months, a series of renovation teams went to some abandoned places to see if and how they could be turned into a hotel or hostel. However, for some reason, each and every team were never heard from again after they went to each place. So, you are tasked to go in and investigate just what happened to each team. As you go through each abandoned place, you would pick up notes, pictures, and of course videos. Maybe DVDs, video cameras used to record footage, cell phone recordings, and tablet recordings or something. Some of the doors and areas would be locked or inaccessible until you found the key or mechanism to unlock said door, or get the mechanism to work, so you could proceed. There wouldn't be any enemies to speak of, at least not in the normal sense. Instead, the enemy would be the atmosphere and details of each room or area in the abandoned place you visit. As you watch the videos, read the notes, and look at the various pictures in one of the abandoned places, you discover that there appears to be a crazy person in the team who is slowly but surely killing everyone else. Through the videos, you end up discovering where everyone on the team's body is located. Everyone except for the person who was the murderer. Some videos clearly show that the person was face to face with the killer, but didn't say anything about who it was. Also, all the notes and videos would be found out of order, or seemingly out of order. When you have finally found the body of the last person on the team who was killed and the final recording, it would then be your job to figure out what order the videos are supposed to be put in, even the ones where someone is killed. After you figure it out, it's then time to report back to Forensic Headquarters and show what you found. You can choose which abandoned place to investigate in any order. To make things easier, each place would have its own separate section for notes, pictures, and videos. You can leave them at any time, but it would be recommended that you don't, since you might lose track of where you left off in that particular place if you go somewhere else. Once all of the places have been properly investigated, it would then be time to investigate one last place. After piecing together, together what happened to each of the teams and saw how an unseen killer did each murder, you would discover the last known place the killer took up residence. The place is itself abandoned, but only recently by whoever lived there. No videos in this place, if only because it would spoil the big reveal. You do, however, find some notes and pictures left by the killer, giving you some idea of their background. This keeps going until finally, you find something that reveals that the one who killed every member of each renovation team was actually you, the player! It turns out the reason you are not aware of who you really are is because your character is certifiably insane, and you blocked out memories of doing those things which explains why in every abandoned place there were no enemies to fight. Not to mention who was the one recording some of the videos. Because it turns out the only true enemy was you the whole time.
to make sure this twist isn't just a shocking swerve. It would be hinted at and foreshadowed in some or all of the videos and notes, if you paid attention. In fact, it would be great if you then had to go back and look through all the notes and videos you gathered while investigating the disappearances after knowing who the killer is. Your character would come to the realization that the identity of the killer explains just about everything. The end. Roll credits! As might be obvious, the game would be played from a first-person perspective, with the character's hands covered in gloves the entire time. In part because you are a forensic ex expert, and in part so that the person the character is could be almost anyone. There would be an inventory system, but a very limited one. That is my idea for a cinematic horror game. If done right, I'm sure it would be amazing. James, if you're watching this video, I urge you to steal this entire concept so it can be made into a reality. Because I really want to see this video game in my head created. With that, we are now at the end of the video. I hope you liked it, and that you come back again when I make another one. Until then... I will see you next time.